So some 104 days of rest will have followed Rangers International's much-acclaimed title win and another season of the Nigeria Professional Football League. The MPFL is upon us. This year, all hands are on deck to build on the successes recorded in recent seasons. Fans are the heart and soul of sports. The MPFL is winning them over. In 2016, over 3 million people representing diverse demography saw matches of the Nigerian top flight in stadia across the country. It is perhaps fitting that as it all begins on Saturday, January 14, Nigeria's most supported club, Kano Pillars, are playing the very first match against the most ambitious of opponents, FC Ifa Yuba. Pillars were watched by over a quarter of a million people at the Asani Abacha Stadium last season. Expect same enthusiastic turnout of Yellow Tidings in 2017. A new season opened up new vista, of course. There is a new match ball for 20 teams to kick about. Some of the clubs have also unveiled new jerseys for the upcoming spectacle. League management company LMC, which runs the MPFL, is not resting on its tours. The LMC is green and liquid, with a declared savings in excess of 483 million naira from its 2016 operations. The development of the game is priority investment in 2017. A new under-15 league to be run in partnership with Spain's La Liga will end years of lip service paid by clubs to a truly virile youth development structure. An improved bonus and incentive structure to clubs was also approved at its AGM last December. MPFL clubs will now earn 500,000 Naira for an away win, 200,000 Naira for an away draw and 250,000 Naira for attracting over 5,000 fans to watch home games. There is also a 200,000 Naira monthly stadium maintenance support and 100,000 Naira for dressing three youth players under 18 in a matchday squad. In all of this, let's not forget the reigning champions are Rangers International. But the bookies favourites to bust their bubble include Kano Pillars, Rivers United and Nyimba, despite the people's relevance starting another season away from their Ababes. FC Fanyuba have had to eat the humble pie in recalling Brazilian Rafael Everton who last year led them to Fed Cup glory, their first piece of silverware. Some of the promoted teams have in the past tasted life at the top. Having returned from the wilderness, ABS and Gombe United would rather they remain among the big boys. For Emostars, it's a new beginning indeed. The fact they are privately funded has its peculiarities, but it's all for the good of the game. While Katsina United will count on the experience of some of the administrators in its home state. Enough said, let the games begin.